Hey everybody, just back here with another video. We're going to be talking about the recent flip-flop that the Liberal, uh, the Trudeau Freeland Liberal Party has recently uh, come out and talked about. They used to be pro-mass immigration, now it seems like they've changed. So I got a quick video here of Christian Freeland talking about that. I know her voice is really annoying, so it's just a short video, I promise, it's only 50 seconds. Uh, but before we get into that, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and this video. It really does help me grow this uh, channel, and if you do want to stay updated on recent political news and updates, uh, you can you can hit the subscription button and then hit the notification bell. That way, as soon as I come up with a new video, you'll get notified. You can click on the notification and just enjoy the video without having to search for it on YouTube. So with that being said, we'll uh, get into this video here and then we'll talk about it after like usual. As a country, as a society, one of the really extraordinary things about Canada is we welcome immigrants. We see them as new Canadians who have so much to offer and so much to contribute. That is a great thing about Canada. Having said that, there have been some abuses to the system. Uh, something that I think we all recognize is when it comes to international students, we have seen some institutions not invite students here to really give them a good education, but really to abuse them. And that is not okay. And that is why our government has stepped in and introduced a cap on international students. Likewise with temporary foreign workers. So that's kind of interesting, right? So she's talking about... Well, first of all, I think, oh, let's just take a step sorry. back and look at... The sorry about that. That's actually for another video I'm going to be making uh, tomorrow. So I just forget you saw that. And we'll talk about uh, this here. So Justin Trudeau also came out on Twitter and he was saying we're... we're uh, reducing the number of low-wage temporary foreign workers in Canada. The labor market has changed. Now is the time for our businesses to invest in Canadian workers and youth. So again, this is more like the housing issue, right? Like, now it's time? You're the Prime Minister of Canada. It's always been time to put Canadian workers first over foreign workers. You're the Prime Minister of Canada. Not the Prime Minister of all these other countries. Your job is to be Canada first. It's what we call uh, being a populist. But apparently Justin Trudeau thinks populists are dangerous. So, But now he's actually kind of agreeing with some populist, um, with some populist rhetoric and policy by actually pretending. I mean, he's not actually going to do any of this, but well, they're going to they're gonna do something with the, the temporary workers, but they're not actually going to continue to do this. They're just pandering to try to win back voters so that they can win the next election. And if that were to happen... You would see exactly what's happening now happen all over again. Taxes would continue to go up. It, it, it would just be terrible, right? But so, And that's the thing about the, the problem that the liberals are having with pandering right now is when it comes to Pierre Polyev's pandering, people actually believe him. No one believes that Trudeau all of a sudden wants to put Canadians first. He hasn't done it for nine years, and now for the first time, I believe in the first time ever, he's well under 30%. In the polls so he's panicking that's what this whole thing is they don't mean it they're not trying to help you they're not trying to help us they're just trying to get re-elected now christian freeland went on to say well there's been some abuses it's like well yeah when you allow mass immigration of course you're going to get some not all some people to abuse the system this isn't really rocket science. Of course this is going to happen. You knew it was going to happen and you allowed it to happen anyway because obviously the agenda for the Liberal Party is to try to destroy this country. And if you want some evidence of that, look at the last nine years, specifically the last three or four years. And if you can't find the evidence on your own, I don't know what to tell you, but it's there. Some abuses, like, yeah, no kidding, Christian Freeland. What about abuses? How about what the Liberal Party has done to Canada? That's abuse, isn't it? But hey, this is uh, this is what we voted for. Not me personally, but a lot of people listening to the show. You did vote for Trudeau at least once, I'm sure. Some of you, not all of you. But even if you did, right? Like back in 2015, it was looked at as, oh, he's this new, young, smart guy. And boy, were we ever fooled. I mean, sure, he's, he's probably a lot smarter than he comes off. because He's just more evil than he is good. That's for sure. But hopefully we learn from our mistakes from the past three elections and get him out and get Pierre Polyev in. And hopefully this election happens a lot sooner than it's scheduled because 
it's going to take a while to even like to undo all this immigration and to build all these houses. It's going to take so long. He can ax the taxes right away. So that's good. Start with something. Give it gives Canadians a little bit of hope. I just hope that that election happens. I mean, it'd be great if it happened before April, because that's when the carbon tax is going up again. But I don't know if it'll be that quick. I think it might be in May or June. So we'll have to suffer through at least a couple more months of that before Pierre Polyev can get into office. But that being said, if the election is called early, which it very well could be, at least, you know, we get a little bit of hope back. We get some momentum back on our side. If you're Canada first right now, you feel like you have no momentum. You see it in the polls, but everything that's happening with the current leadership of this country just shows that they're not Canada first. And it's really depressing. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe once again. It really helps grow this channel. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.